Hey, what's up guys? Ram from Team DFG here. Back with another video, another discussion video with our boy Rashawn and Mick. This time we're coming at you with five tips on how to become a better duelist in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, buddy, wants to start? You want to start? Yes. Okay. Number one. Know your card effects. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Actually, I wrote that one. <laughs> I agree with that one. Because yeah. everybody can, keeps making the mistake of not knowing their card effects, and it can cost you. Yep. Almost almost 85% of the time it can cost mm -hmm. you. You don't read the cards, you don't know what the card effect is. Mm -hmm. And miss, like, miss, Especially uh, basically it, misunderstanding from personal opinion. I mean, mm -hmm. from my personal uh, experience. experience. And right there, that just will disrupt the game state for both people and we oh, don't like right. that. <laughs> Especially when you gotta ask your opponent what this card does. Mm -hmm. Not only does it make you kind of embarrassing, but now you give your opponent the lead away. Cause now he knows how to stop you if they got any cards in their hand. Or right. mm -hmm. Cause you pretty much have to ask their opinion about what it does and all. And then he's like, oh, okay, I might tell me this, but he don't realize in my hand, I might got something to stop you. Mm -hmm. Just by showing me that. Right. But you, but you had even a uh, more crucial tip. What was your tip? Just read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That this basically just the pattern on the uh, on the on, on what she what she mentioned. Mm -hmm. When I first started, I just thought, oh, MST negates in, in a way, but it doesn't. But it does. <laughs> <laughs> it does in a sense, but like it just reading it, uh, reading what you're doing, reading what your opponent is doing, knowing what the card does is very very crucial. And don't skip a word, colon, period, anything, because this is the most crucial thing in Yu-Gi-Oh! of today. Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, you go ahead. I, I want to save this one. Say this. this okay. Part. <laughs> well, I think one of my um tips that I will I will want to put in is have a goal when it comes to this game. I feel even though it might sound a little genetic and out of the blue or whatnot. Because I'm sure everybody here, they got goals, what they want to do in life. But in the Yu-Gi-Oh! world, that's important too. Have a goal. What, what's your goal? Is it to just play with your friends? And just out of um, playing with your friends, you might top at their matches. Or maybe your goal is going to locals and be in the top eight in that. Or the top four. Going to regionals. Or even going to um, worlds mm -hmm. in a sense of what. But despite all that... Having a goal, it motivates you to play this game and it motivates you to be, to reach more so than just average. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel, you know. I feel like regardless, whether it's in Yu-Gi-Oh or regardless of what you're trying to do in life, having a goal provides the best type of outcome and results you can put in into this game and all. Alright, mine's uh, just something I hammer a lot on the channel. Deck building, research. Don't just throw something together and think it's going to top at a regional. Don't think it's going to throw something together and just think it's going to be, oh, I'm just the best deck in the game. Have you play tested this? Have you tried it out with your friends? You haven't gotten advice and opinions about it? Like, sometimes you actually need the help of other people. Like, people really hammer on the fact that people, you know, look at people's deck lists or checking out people's other channels like that for YouTube advice and like that. That is a part of deck building. That gives you the knowledge to know what's good and what's bad in certain matchups, certain games. Like, that's why certain decks top. It's not because, oh, everybody plays it. No, it's a tried and true deck. It's consistent. Yep. It does what it has to do. But yet, you had an opinion on that? No. I mean, <laughs> you basically yeah, said, you took the words out, out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Like, so if, don't be mad. If you sit in here playing Moki Moki Beatdown <laughs> at Pandemonium. <I'm>, hey, <laughs> you might top. <laughs> <laughs> If you're doing it right, you might have. I don't know. <laughs> Different skills. But don't, don't expect that to be, you know, running rampant when it comes to dry trons and virtuals, etc. You looking like, oh, he only beat me because he was playing the most popular deck. I'm pretty sure he didn't just beat you because he's playing the most popular deck. I'm pretty sure. Or try to bring that can lead you. Yeah. <laughs> it takes time and effort, man. This, this is something you had to really play test. It was like um, playing with chemicals in the lab. Yeah, see what works and what don't work. Yeah, then um, on top of that, the, like my subject is also play test. You know, we have even more ways now to the due to the pandemic that we in. It brings different ways how Yu-Gi-Oh players can play now. We got remote dueling. We got the your very close friend that follow the protocols. You know, making sure they wear 
their masters and whatnot, but just having a way to play, to play test Discord, bam, yeah. takes five seconds to set it up, you know, to even to get into remote dueling. Play test is the key to this game, so you can understand it, so you can get an understanding of how your deck plays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most decks are not good. You would know that if you just keep play testing, or you can make the adjustment to your deck to play, you know, to counteract what type of format that we in as of right now. Mm -hmm. We are in a very controlled format and you're gotta adjust the way because this is not like, oh, I'm gonna normally summon Blue Eyes White Dragon and pass, everybody can get over that nowadays. But play testing is the most crucial thing to get, to get used to in this game. Mm -hmm. You have multiple friends, have multiple ways to play different people to keep play testing. Yeah. So like that's my thing. Mm -hmm. Play testing will make you a better person and get you to the point that we want to go to in this in this format or in, even as the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. That's one thing for sure for me. Cause shout out, shout out to Rashawn for that one yeah. because he got me got me up on our remote duels. First, I was a little sketchy about if you bought it, but yeah, show me it was an easy setup process and everything like that. And then it actually does help with your uh, playing stuff like that. Sometimes you don't want to play on dueling books. Sometimes you actually want to physically play the game. Yeah. You don't want to play on you know automated um, simulators like uh, YGO Pro and them. What, what are you learning from that? Like you learn your deck is probably good, but that's not teaching you the ins and outs where, where to stop and where where to go. That's not teaching you the chains and stuff like that. You really basically letting it do it for you. So basically, yeah, because you won't necessarily know when a car activates. In versus playing a YGO, mm -hmm. you know that's the main thing. Uh, main thing about ruling in person because it's different from YGO versus real life. Mm -hmm. You know, it it, it it it's rulings that Yu Gi Oh doesn't make sense, but you gotta force yourself to get used to it. Because mm -hmm. I'm imagine like in YGO they do the effects all the matter. Like they tell you like the all matter you're changing compared to when you um, playing against someone like um virtual or even face to face mm -hmm. like you have to remember door face by hand mm -hmm. you don't have the computer or the computer stand related tell you okay is this where you want to change or you want to wait till the next turn it's kind of like you got to remember all those chains by yourself yep mm -hmm. then there's also uh groups out there that can help you with the ruling so if you don't know when something can be activated or is a questionable um uh, uh move your opponent's doing is multiple ways to try to get the answer from multiple people that topped or just in general judges it's you know it's groups out there to help you that's the most crucial thing you just don't want to take your opponent words for it if you do not know yourself mm -hmm. you know oh i just special summon blue eyes for free how did you do that you know and the opponent's not explaining it to you you know that's sketchy right there itself <laughs> You got a, a tip for us? Uh, well, I would want to add another extra tip. Yeah. I think what's another another important tip would be like checking out the other um Yu Gi Oh um tubers. Mm -hmm. Shout out to um Ren and Bunny because y'all got an awesome channel. Thank I mean, I be there every day. I uh, learn something new from y'all channel. But also the other Yu Gi Oh tubers too, because I feel like sometimes being on other Yu Gi Oh tubers, you can learn things about your deck or what's going on in the matter that you think you might not have known before and all. And I feel like it's very informational and educational going on there. Because so, they can point out tips with the decks you got, or maybe you might be running a structure deck and you just starting out. And they can point out tips with that too, like what's the best cards to run for this, or what's the best cards to decide that with. Mm -hmm. And I feel like going on and checking out the other Yu Gi Oh! tutors made me a very better um, competitive duelist. Because before that, I was just. Oh, I was just going with the guy, but I do this and that, and I thought I was the best. When I check out those different Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTubers, I was like, oh, sure, I didn't know you could do this with that, and do this with this with my deck. Mm -hmm. I thought, oh, shoot. So, go on checking other Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTubers is a big, very big part, and I highly recommend it. Yeah, that's one thing I do for sure myself, because before we even started this channel, that's one thing I did constantly. But before it was even me topping at regionals on or going to, going to nationals and that stuff like that. Before all of that, it was literally just me constantly on YouTube, me constantly checking out MST.TV for rulings and how to play certain decks and combos stuff like that. Um, me checking out CMO, me checking out 
Team Samurai X. Me checking out people like that. Me checking out uh, Team APS or Kali Effect. And then taking what they're putting into their craft and I actually try to put it into my channel as well when I do things like this. And um, yeah, that does come a long way. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Anybody else have any uh, more tips or comments from Marks? I think we covered basically everything, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just read your cards, do your research, I mean, research. and just, you yeah. know, try to play the game as best as you can. Yeah. You know, and if you stuff, play with your friends, go online, mm -hmm. check out the other Yu-Gi-Oh! too. I say there's multiple ways to try to get better mm -hmm. in, the play, in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Actually, I got two small, two small ones. Uh, know what your deck does inside and out. If you're building it, you should might as well know what it does. It's just like when you're building a car from scratch. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you know where the alternator, you know where the engine, you know where all that stuff is at because you built this. You know what's in here. You know what you to take out, what to put back in. Like with Legos and stuff like that, when you're building something, you know where each part goes, where each place is placed at. So if you're going to service like that, a region like that, they will dock you if you try to sit here and say, "Hey, I'm going to do a Zephyr Prominence effect. Ain't no more Zephyrs in your deck." <laughs> you know that. You should know that. That's something you should know because now they're gonna punish you for it. Right. And then the other part was when you are playing, try to play people at your skill level or if not so better. Because that's how you improve with the game. That's the main key point. Once you get everything else mastered and realized, you want to get better at the game, you want to come stronger, surround yourself with people who are stronger players than you. So that you can become stronger. Player. Exactly. Because now I kind of feel bad because I've been playing with this man. This is this is my playtest dummy right here. <laughs> and uh, now I kind of regret it because now uh, I'm getting too old by this guy in tournaments. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Nine one is rivals. But guys, um, that's it for us. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Put your opinions in the comments. We'll check you in the next video. Peace. <laughs> hey guys, it's your boy Ninja Crow here. Uh, thank y'all for watching the video. You remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hey, if y'all can, check out that Facebook page. All right, peace.